everyone, I wanted to bring you along with me today because I've got such an exciting day planned. I've booked a recording studio so that I can record my own audiobooks, I can narrate my own audiobooks. Um, I, this has been booked for a little while and if you've watched my videos for a couple of years, you might have seen my series where I recorded my own audiobooks and I gave tips on how to do that. And actually, the only one I fully completed was Lily the Limpet Gets Lost. And those tips absolutely work, but I had a lot of issues. I tried to record my book Milk, my first book, which I tried to record that four different times and the issues I had were initially the microphone I had, my first microphone was not the best. I got a new microphone which was lots better but <laughs> every time I tried to record I would have seagulls, dogs, people having conversations outside, cars, <laughs> whatever it might be, the um, fan in my laptop going and I could dampen a certain amount and I could edit a certain amount but that's a really long book and I tried multiple times to edit it and it took so long and I think if you have a space where you can get rid of those outside noises then those tips absolutely work but for me where I live <laughs> in my house it doesn't work it's never silent and because you have to wait while you know the person finishes cutting the hedges or whatever then the audio when you start to record again maybe your voice has changed slightly or the background room tone is different or it, it just took so long to record and then the post-production was so messy that I just couldn't dedicate that time to it anymore. So I decided to have a professional recording so my initial files are really clean and then I can edit those myself. Um, you know, I've edited audio before, I have a podcast, etc. So I can do that bit if I've got a really nice clean um, edit. So those tips I gave before, and I'll link them, they do work and especially if it's shorter. So I, I did record a children's book and you, you can get that, that short bit down or short chapters, but um, I mean, as I say, it's it's worth a go, <laughs> my glasses, um, and, um, you know, saves money, which as an indie author is always beneficial. Um, so, uh, yeah, definitely worth a shot, but I've got to the point where um, I, I just <laughs> can't take the time over it. So, that was rambly. The plan today is I'm going to record my book, Self-Publishing, my newest, is it my newest book? No. No, because Seagrass Meadows was after that. Um, but my my latest longer length book. Um, so that's the priority today. And I'm also hoping to record Secret Seagrass Meadows and a re-record of Lily the Olympic Gets Lost. So there is an audiobook of that that I did at home. But um, there have been some ever so tiny um, uh, tweaks to the text that I would like to re-record so I think I'll have time to do that if I don't that's fine so that's the plan um I have dressed super comfy because I'm gonna be there for a long time I've got clothes that don't make a noise you know um and I am drinking a coffee this will be my last coffee of the day so that caffeine doesn't affect my voice <clears throat> which is still quite croaky from um the morning mm. I've packed lots of snacks so that I don't have um, you know, my tummy's not rumbling or anything like that. Um, lots of water so I don't get mouth noises. Um, and also I've spent a few days marking up the manuscripts that I'm going to be recording, making sure I've got the intro and the outro. And when you read a, a book, it's different to when you write it. So <laughs> it's worth going through and sort of turning it into a script, making notes. So for instance, if you say, over the coming pages, well, there aren't any pages, so over the coming chapters, or maybe um, you've got lots of subheadings, that's the case with the book I'm recording today. So finding a way of doing that instead of having it really choppy. Um, and I've also watched lots of videos. I will link loads of stuff below. I've watched videos about narration skills, um, breathing. I've checked the technical specifications and sent them to the studio already. Um, 
I think that's probably it. Uh, yeah. Um, so I've got all my notes. I've got everything I could possibly need. I've got hard copies of the book in case my digital copies fall over. So I've got the book on iPad so that I'm not turning pages or on my Kindle you'd hear the click. So on the iPad I should be able to swipe and I shouldn't get any you know, fan noises or anything like that because it's not a laptop. So I think I've thought of everything. Um, I'm gonna be there from 10 till six. They've said I can film a little bit in there so hopefully I'll get some little clips. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a long day. I'm excited and I'm looking forward to finally <laughs> getting my books into audio, um, more of my books. And if today goes well, then um, I'll go back and record Milk because Although I published that book in 2018, having recorded the audio four times, it's my white whale. <laughs> so it's not necessarily a good business decision, but I want to do it. Um, so yeah, that would be really, really great. Um, I think audio is really important because it means that people can stream it on things like Spotify or because that, that's available now um, for audiobooks. Um, you know, lots of people have Audible, lots of people have busy lives and listen to audio on their commute rather than reading physical books. It's It integrates with smart speakers now. It's just, it's a format that I, yeah, I really... I really believe in and I want to be a part of. Um, I think <laughs> I think that's everything. I feel like I am blabbering. That's because I need to get in the car and drive and I've still got a lot of coffee to drink. Um, good, well, I'll see you when I get there. I'm here, I found it. I've gone in and said hi. Um, cool, um, it's Century Studio. I think it's Century Audio Studio. I think that's what they're called. I'll link them below. Um, here goes. taking a break. Um, it's what time? Half twelve? Coming up for one o'clock and we've got through two chapters. I think there's 14. Um, so yeah, um, but we sort of hit a rhythm now. So we're just taking a break and then I think we'll uh, crack through a whole load more. So yeah, really good. I'll show you around the microphone. <laughs> Let me give you a little, a little mini tour. Um, so this is my setup. I've got my iPad on a table. This is a honey and lemon tea. I don't normally drink tea, however, I really need it. My chest doesn't feel amazing. Headphones, I've got heaters going because it's cold. And there's the, I don't know, what do you call that? Control room. <laughs> I feel like I should know words. Um, yeah, cool. Just taking a quick break to grab a drink. Um, it's about half past four probably about two thirds of the way through. I don't think we're gonna finish it, but it's going really well. I'm home, I'm all done. I haven't taken my coat off. <laughs> um, we did it. We stayed an extra hour, I think, to get through it all. Um, it was really great to have it finished. I am fried from focusing all day. I feel like my brain can't, can't focus on anything anymore. Um, yeah, but it's done and it was, oh, it was brilliant. It was such a great experience. I, I'm really happy with how it's all come out and working with somebody who could, you know, judge which things needed doing again or not and who could, um, you know, he edited as he was going. I didn't think he would edit it, but he did. And that meant that we identified anything that did need doing again. So it's just brilliant, it just means it's it's pretty much finished. 
I'm going to have a listen through and see if I pick up any anything. Um, I doubt I will, but yeah. Um, I'm going to go, <laughs> that's my food. I'm going to go eat. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks for coming along with me. Um, I'll link the studio I went to below and I thoroughly recommend them. If you need some audio, they are lovely. So can you hear my guitar echoing? My guitar's up here and it, it echoes my voice. Sorry if you can hear that. Um, yeah, so I'll link them below. If you need some recording, check them out. Thanks for coming along. Um, leave a like, <laughs> leave me a comment, let me know. Have you ever been in a recording studio and how was it? Um, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.